Welcome to our next video on English expressions. You will see several images with the kaboons indicating an expression in each. You'll then have a couple of seconds to guess the expression. After that, the answer will appear and I will discuss the meaning of the expression and also give some examples. Here is our first image. The expression here is empty vessels make the most noise. This expression means that people with little knowledge or skills often speak the loudest and want to make themselves heard. Once again, we have two examples for you. The first one is, when we were in France, June kept telling the tour guide about the history of the area. You know what they say, empty vessels make the most noise. Second example, June was getting annoyed with the new intern who wouldn't stop talking and telling her how things should be done. She really was an empty vessel making the most noise. The expression in this image is when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Often people also just say the first part of the expression, when in Rome. It means that if you visit a different area or country, you need to adjust to local customs. Let's look at two example sentences. The first, use your hands to eat this dish. It's normal here. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. And second, Ellen is a travel agent and always advises people, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. This way you get so much more out of your holiday. Time for our last image. The expression is, as you make your bed, so you must lie in it. This means that you need to accept the consequences of your actions. For example, Liam bought the cheapest car and it soon broke down. I told him, as you make your bed, so you must lie in it. Our second example is, my father always warned me to think carefully about my decisions because as you make your bed, so you must lie in it. Please remember that psychology tells you that there is no better way to learn expressions than by linking these expressions to typical pictures. That's the end of this series, and we'll always end with a few important remarks. First, don't forget to subscribe to our English Expressions series. Second, please leave comments. Maybe you have other good examples, or perhaps you know the equivalent expressions in, for instance, French or Spanish or maybe Chinese. And we love to hear how you teach expressions. All comments are welcome. And please inform your colleagues about this new series with Kaboons and use the link below to see what our shop offers. And finally, here's a new picture and we will tell you what this expression means next time. Love you. See you next time.